just for a minute. Imagine that your lungs are taken out of your body and stretched out. If this were to happen at a tennis court, your lungs would cover all of it. Yep, that's how huge your lungs are. Now let's understand how they help you breathe. Our objective is to understand how the lungs and the rib cage help in the process of breathing. Breathing is a vital process which is essential for all living organisms. In human beings, breathing is affected by the outward and the downward movements of the rib cage. During inspiration, the ribs move and are lifted outwards. Simultaneously, the diaphragm muscles contract, pulling down the diaphragm. As a result, the volume of the thoracic cavity increases and air pressure in the lungs decreases. Hence, the volume of air in the alveoli also decreases. Therefore, the external air is pulled into the lungs through the pharynx, larynx and bronchi. This process is termed inspiration. After this process, the ribs move downward and simultaneously the diaphragm relaxes. Now, the thoracic cavity is restored to its normal volume. The lungs are now compressed, forcing air outwards, out of the lungs, into the nostrils and out. This process is termed expiration. So, we can conclude that during inspiration and expiration, the lungs and ribcage function in a synchronized manner. In an adult, when resting, the normal breathing rate is 14 to 18 times per minute. Let's summarize. Breathing is a vital process which is essential for all living organisms. In human beings, breathing is affected by the outward and downward movements of the ribcage. During inspiration, volume of the thoracic cavity increases and air pressure in the lungs decreases. 